what what I want to show here graphically is while we talk about uh, serious crime, uh, aggravated assaults, homicides, those kinds of things, and certainly those are serious crimes and those are things that we want to address, but when you look at what our uh, overriding crime issue is in this community and the thing that really drives our crime numbers is more the property crime. And these two maps sort of illustrate that. This is for the first six months of 2014 of all of the homicides, rapes, robberies, and aggravated assaults that have happened throughout all of Bibb County in this, this first uh, six months. And you'll notice it's mainly clustered into the, you know, former city limits, but it, it's sort of spread out. It's almost like a shotgun effect that it's, it happens in various parts of the community. Uh, when you get far out into the edges of the county, you don't see quite as much, but, but it's just, it's just, it's there. But the striking difference is when you look at burglaries, auto thefts, inner auto shoplifting and thefts, it is significantly more than the person's crimes. Shoplifting is one of our largest uh, issues of, that really drives our crime numbers, and shoplifting is uh, more than half of them, probably two-thirds of them, are solved basically by the time we get our call because they're loss prevention people at the, at the various shops and, 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 and stores that identify the suspect, basically take the suspect into custody and they just call us to transport. So shoplifting, but it still counts as a crime and that's what counts as one of our crime numbers. Burglaries, burglaries are really an issue for us in particular parts of town. South Macon, Houston Avenue, running around Eisenhower. Uh, that is where a, a lot of our burglary issues. And when you look, this is some of the poorest areas of town. I suggest a lot of places get alarms, be a nosy neighbor, watch what's going on in your neighborhood, uh, be mindful of your surroundings. And so uh, that's some of the things that we, we talk about. That's some of the issues and we're, we're arresting burglars every day.